Hi there, back on the County Down coast again today. It's freezing cold, the daytime temperature is about 2 degrees. Luckily the, the roads weren't too bad getting here this morning, but the sea's lovely and calm as you can see. And uh, I'm actually hoping to get some rest. Be interesting to see if there's any about. Right, let's see what we can catch. Right. I have, I had been having a few casts on a little Cheb rig, and I've been getting, getting boats, but not, not able to really hook up with anything. So I've changed to a little drop shot now, and I've, I've put the hook on a small snood just to give it a little bit more freedom of movement. And. Uh, Let's see if we can catch anything on that. Oh, <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, a little cork wing. <laughs> Lovely little things. I have, uh, I have my heavier rod here, so maybe have a check about and see if there's any balans about maybe in a little while but I figured there'd be a few of these little corkies about and I don't think you can be too choosy this time of the year Still getting little taps. Ooh. Something that's took me worm. Oh, I have a whole manner of baits with me today. I have to admit, I do normally find these scented ones a lot better when that's really hard really cold good thing about the little snood is you can uh, thread your worm on right over the eye if you want to if you want to use a like that and Leaves a nice, nice free presentation. Oh. Missing bites there. That was good by you actually. Ouch. Ooh. There. 
Another lovely little corky. Lovely colours on these things. What have we got here? Oh, a little pollock. Ah. Had something on there and lost it. I might just set up the heavier rod in a minute, give that a few casts, and if that don't prove fruitful, I'll rest this spot. I'll move, move along, try a fresh spot, and then maybe come back to here. Oh, here we go again. We got it. Yes. Another little pollock. A little bit bigger than the last time. Right. Let's let's have a go with the heavier rod. See if we can get any interest in that. Right, right. Got my heavier rod set up. Got a little goby shad on a cheb rig and a weedless hook. I've done well on these little shads, and fortunately, I don't think you can get these anymore little crazy fish goby imitations we'll see what we can get on this I normally use a little bit heavier cheb on but because it's so calm today I think I'll get away with this as a 3.5 gram there's hardly any swell at all on here today. Yeah, that's fine. This feels a bit better. Let's just pull them back a bit. Um, oh yes. Well, that was worth setting up the heavier rod. The balance are still about. There. Chunky fish. I'm going to weigh that just out of curiosity. I've only just recently started carrying scales with me, and I so it'll be interesting 
to see what that weighs. I'm guessing it's somewhere around a couple of pounds. Right, let's have a look. There we go. I went far eight. Two pound two. So it's definitely over two pound because I'm sure this bag don't weigh two ounces. Yeah. There it goes. Straight back down. And there's a nice little tip for anyone that owns a little set of scales like that is uh, you put them in your bag and I've had it before the button gets hit and you take your scales out and they're on and obviously it's just wasting your battery if they're on in your bag when they needn't be so I found this in one of the pound shops that's like a little container with a sponge in the sponge is actually originally stuck to the lid but I gently prized it off and cut the shape of the scales out and they sit in there tuck that in behind just like that and the lid goes on it protects the scales and they don't get turned on accidentally and I think so that's how it cost a quid And for, for fish, that sort of size, plastic bag is ample. The little way bag, it weighs next to nothing. It folds up next to nothing. Right, have another go. See if there's anything else about. And there's others down there as well because I followed this one up. <laughs> Plenty of that sort of size down there, I think. He's in a pod. <sighs> Got to switch the camera on <laughs> and another little cork wing. They are tiny as well.
little bit better one. Yeah. Lights going now. There. It's a job to get the sun's virtually gone, so lovely little things. Now that's a good bite. It's really starting to turn cold. Cold now. Another little corky. <laughs> These are still biting now. But it, that sun's going and that really is starting to make my fingers a bit numb now. <laughs> and another little corky. You wouldn't know how many of these are the same fish to be honest with you. I think there's quite a lot of them here. have a drop down in here let's see what we we'll get here and start thinking about walking back to the car <laughs> oh, won't make a change. <sighs> Little Pollock. Well, that's a, another end for an enjoyable day. It's starting to get very cold now. The sun's starting to go down and uh, the tips of my fingers are, are numb. So I'm going to call it a day now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you again.